Okay. Uh, today is Thursday. Um, I realized I haven't posted a video for about two weeks. Um, and I can do nothing but apologize. There has been a lot of family stuff going on. Tonight's the first night that I really have to myself, or at least a couple of hours to myself. And so, despite the fact that today is the one day it's decided to pour down rain in Canberra, I am going to go out. I'm going on an adventure, and I hope that you'll enjoy coming along with me. This is the Copper Dragon Tavern. I was definitely not disappointed. I had the Phoenix Palma, which was sufficiently spicy as to live up to its name without being overpowering. It was actually really delicious. If there's enough time, I will be making an effort to get down to their craft noon this Saturday, that's for sure. There is an absolutely massive selection of board games here for you and your friends to play. The booths are huge, and the staff are lovely to boot. For dessert, I had the Night Fury Brownie, and oh my gosh. Absolutely everything here, both on the menu and off the menu, is fandom related. So you can probably imagine I was in a little bit of heaven. So for both local and visiting geeks, this is definitely a spot to have on your map. It was a bit of an incident tonight at the Copper Dragon Tavern. Um, but let me preface it with the fact that this is in no way a reflection on the tavern itself. Uh, this is not not reflective of the kind of patrons that they normally attract. But tonight there was a gentleman there who had admitted to me that he'd never been before. And he sat down with me. He was clearly well inebriated. Tried a number of times to get my phone number. Tried to not very subtly hint at wanting a hug and similar physical affections. Um, even when I told him that I'm not from the same state, that I will never see him again, that I'm not interested, no nothing I said was deterring him. I honestly had one of those moments that I'm sure many other women have had, where you, you have that thought that crosses your mind of, what if he doesn't take no for an answer? What if he follows you out to your car? What if things get uncomfortable and physical and what if, what if, what if. All those things cross my mind. The absolutely amazing thing though was I waited until basically the staff said that they were going to be closing up. So I did this drunk guy. But when the staff came over to tell me and the guy sitting with me that they were closing up, his eyes were locked onto mine. He was not paying attention to the guy in front of me. The staff member made it very clear that he was giving me his attention. And I thanked him for letting us know that he was closing up and all that jazz. And the drunk guy with me persisted. And so even after all the other patrons had gotten up and left, I tried to not leave at the same time as the drunk guy. That didn't work. The staff member, the, the bartender, he he clued on. He was aware of the situation. He was aware of what was going on. He did everything he could to help me delay. And when it was very apparent that the drunk guy was just going to wait until I left, the bartender waited at the door, watching what was happening, and made sure I got into the car safely, made sure that the drunk guy didn't harass me, made sure that I was okay. And for that, I am so, so thankful. Um, I j I'm sure I am preaching to the choir when I say that this is not an unusual occurrence, particularly for young ladies. And it is absolutely terrifying 
to think of all those what ifs and you know that every single one of those what ifs is possible. The fact that this staff member was just so aware and so on top of things and I knew he had my back and he was watching out for me. I cannot praise the Copper Dragon Tavern highly enough for that. You have a fantastic staff member there. I don't know who I need to tell that uh, there is someone fantastic on your staff. Keep them. Do right by them. Don't let staff like this go. Just being able to get into my car and seeing him still watching and still keeping an eye on me until I drove out of the car park gives you a sense of relief that I almost can't describe. It is just, thank you so much um, for taking care of me, for just being fantastic. I mean, you were already fantastic before I had to leave before the drunk guy sat down in front of me. You know, I, I was already quite willing to sing your praises, but you went a step above and I can't thank you enough for that. So extra thumbs up to the Copper Dragon Tavern and their phenomenal staff. Thank you.